Uh, I, th- I think the recurring theme for tonight is because I've missed Mesa so much, both personally and on the podcast, that mm-hmm. I'm going to continue to toss over to him. Uh, <laughs> Mesa, are you excited to play Halo Infinite this month? Oh, man, you know, I just finished five. I can't wait to see where the story continues. I mean, you know, I guess that's how Microsoft. Sorry, sorry, but I guess that's how Microsoft has has been like advertising. Like when 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 you, when you get your my console shipped email, they've been saying stuff like you can't wait to play games like Halo hey, Infinite. <laughs> People are like, oh, asterisk. You gotta wait longer. Yeah, you gotta wait longer. Sorry, sorry. Continue. Uh, but so yeah, it's already previously been reported that uh, Halo is not indefinitely delayed. It's it's slated for next year. Um. But it has been reported that the previous uh, project director, Chris Lee, is now officially stepping down from his role as the uh, lead for the game. Mm -hmm. And um, so basically what happened after the entire game showcase where, you know, people called out the uh, lack of of graphical fidelity and the lack of polish, as well as my boy, uh, Craig, Mm -hmm. uh, Craig the Brute. (laughs) Um, Yeah, the internet internet was not kind to... uh, to uh to halo infinite so basically they they had they had to go ahead and delay it in order to get it up to snuff and they actually brought in um fuck what's his name i i know his name by heart and for whatever reason now that i'm thinking about it da, 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 da. where's my boy jason where is it not jason schreier no Ooh. oh fuck i didn't write down uh jason staden that's his name it's not in the notes i just remembered <laughs> Uh, Jason Satan, who was a Halo alumni, he was there for Halos one through three as well as Reach. Um, he's he's back on, or he he's an exec, not an executive. He's a higher up at Microsoft that has come into. He has stepped in for this project in order to take over as a campaign lead in order to uh, get it up to par. Because as Mace, as you probably know, you've you've recently played. Um, Halo 5. Mm-hmm. While it was good and while the gameplay was great and most people oh. applauded the multiplayer. Fantastic feeling. Uh it was it was severely lacking in the campaign department. And so uh I know for me as a longtime Halo fan, going back to like uh, as Halo 1 released on the original Xbox, I don't want Halo to fall into mediocrity. I want it to kind of get that place back up as like, hey, this Halo is a big fucking deal because now it's kind of like in the realm of uh, uh, kids playing Fortnite. Just like Halo, that's a fucking old man's game, you fucking loser. Get, c- come do some floss dancing. But um, so yeah, C- Chris Lee has has officially stepped down now. He's kind of been sidelined. Mm-hmm. Uh, whether or not that's it, it, it's pretty obvious to connect the dots between um, the delay as well as as well as Jason coming on. But it, it for me, it just it just kind of makes like a, a big overcast over this entire project because this isn't the first time that a that a project lead has left the game. Uh, both create, former creative director Tim Longo and executive producer Mary Olson had left production on, on the title last August. And like having that many high people up leave um, mm. so close to what the original release was supposed to be just spells that this game is in a lot of trouble. And so I really, really hope that it manages to shape up by release. Any any thoughts, Mesa? Yeah, I mean, I think that like um as um, you know Yeah, as you said, it was close to release. If if like if it was releasing at the same day and he was leaving at the same time, I feel like it probably wouldn't have casted as many doubts. I mean, if they were so confident about the release date Um, that the only reason why they're pushing it back is for, you know, graphical updates. I'm sure that they feel comfortable with how the game plays then, right? Right. So I feel, I feel, I think... To build off that, like, graphical changes, what would it, what would it necessarily be like, you need, like, the the creative director in order to do that, um, as much as, like, just, like, the art department, right? So, Mm -hmm. so him leaving is, is much more indicative of, like, deeper issues that weren't necessarily shown at the showcase. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think I think ultimately I'm, I'm going to assume that um, Halo Infinite's okay, but if they have plans to expand upon Halo Infinite, I think those are probably in jeopardy. Right. I think the launch should be fine, but anything that comes after that 
probably it's probably not looking too hot at the current moment. Is it too early to say make Halo great again? Um, I think it's too late to say that. Yeah, too it's late. too late. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck, should have done out. it yesterday. Well, I suppose if they want to make Halo great, they would add more Nathan Fillion into it. Give Nathan Fillion and Buck the uh, character he Buck, plays. Give him. Give me a game of just about Buck. Please, yes, let, Buck should have been the fucking squad leader in Halo Five. Uh, That's all I I'm mean, saying. I mean, it was very weird because even though it was the face of the guy from a uh, from uh, mm. Luke Cage, it, it, it was in his voice. It wasn't his voice. Yeah, and it was super freaky to me and like super like threw me off. Like I was like, oh, that's Mike. That's Mike Coulter speaks. Oh, that's not Mike Coulter. Man, I I just want <laughs> Halo to be like highly revered again versus just kind of like a relic from the uh, previous two generations. Because at this point, and um, I mean, this is still a high bar for the next time I'm going to say, I think Gears of War has maintained its quality over the years. And 4 and 5 are just as fucking good. I would say that's probably Microsoft's best franchise at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like, because to me, the thing I just can't, the thing I just can't get into Halo with is, uh, is, is one, and people are going to hate me for this, but Master Chief as a character, like, I just can't care about him enough to, like... If you don't count the books, Master Chief is barely a character. And they, he, and um, they try until, to make until him, like... like, four or five. Well, they That's try to make true, him, yeah. like... And then they give him, like, three random friends. And I remember I was playing with my friend, and I asked him, I was like, I thought Master Chief didn't have friends. Yeah, if you He's don't like, read oh, the they book... friends in a book. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? He's like, yeah, he has friends. I'm like... It- if you only play the games, I I I think it's in Halo. They say like you're the last Spartan. You play Halo Five, like uh, There's three so, of them. so that was a fucking <laughs> lie. It's because like to me, Halo is so all over the place and mm-hmm. not there story wise that I just can't put. I can't get emotionally invested into it. While while something like Gears Gears of War has done insane strides in like third person shooter storytelling. That it's definitely, I have to agree, it's Microsoft's the best franchise. I mean, it's the Absolutely. reason I keep buying X, Xbox consoles, literally just to play Gears. I it's think, the reason I keep buying X, Xbox consoles. So, I mean, I, mean, I think that says something. I'm, and I, I'm sorry for six. Yeah, I think, and I mean, it sucks that Halo has gone so downhill. Because I know I have a lot of friends who love it. And Mesa, I can tell that you really enjoy it too and it just sucks to see halo go so downhill when people were, are so i, I think into it's it. fine to give complimentary material to what should be like the mainline source like like obviously halo's main uh main form of media output is the games and it's fine to give complimentary stories via books or shows or mm-hmm. movies or whatever but it shouldn't be supplemental material where mm-hmm. this is like required reading in order to get into shit and, and going off of what sarah had uh, just mentioned prior like I don't, I don't think Halo's bad. I, I just know it can be damn better. Yeah, and that's, mm-hmm. that's that's what's the most disappointing about it. 